Hello everybody, I'm DJ from THE Yankee Dabbler. I'm Engine Hall from the University of Norfolk Southern Local Railroad School. And today we're going to be showing you how to maneuver this Black Friday in a train store. Are you ready to see some plays? I'm ready to see the plays. We got two players today. We got Christian and we got Kenneth here. We're going to show you what to do and what not to do when you come into Model Rebel train to do Black Friday sales. That sounds like a plan, and we have our first play. This is an awesome one. This is called the Isle Double Twist. So you're gonna see what to do and what not to do. So let's roll the footage and see what this play looks like. Roll it! All right, so you see Ken, he has this move. Look, spin one. Great move on him. Spin two. Good move. Oh, 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 oh look at Get that. Him. Sorry, sir. Yeah, you lost all, you lost the stop. Sorry, ma'am. That was an awesome play. See, you gotta get that footwork down. You know, you get that footwork down. What, what? Shoot it again, like shoot it again, shoot it again, shoot it. See, footwork. See, you like that? You gotta get that down, all right? There you go. There you see, go. you gotta sting like a, or fly like a butterfly and sting like a BNSF engine. That's the saying, right? Anyway, so, we have some new products that we're gonna show you today in our store, and one of the new ones that we have here is from Scene Master. This is the Walther Scene Master. Check this out. This is the backyard detail set. Woo! Look at that, Engineer Hall. If you need a some detailing for your backyard, including some fences, maybe a couple swing sets, a little doghouse, I think this is a really cool product for you to go with. Or another thing from Walther's, check this out. We got a couple of modern wood crossings. And I have a couple different ones for your consideration there. Check these out there. Everyone needs some crossings of your railroad, right, Engineer Hall? There you go, they have them, they must. These are pretty cool. So these just came into our store the other day here. The crossings are selling for $8.49, and the detailing kit sells for $14.98. So we focus a lot on our trains, but might not necessarily focus a lot on the scenery or detail. So come get these items on here today to get your layout to the next level. Speaking of going to the next level, some of you might be thinking about weathering your steam or diesel locomotives, well check this out. This is a weathering a steam locomotive kit. Look at that. So there's two ways you can weather your engines. You can A, put them outside for several years and develop naturally, or just do this. That's much faster. Yeah, and better, truthfully. All right, so if you're looking for maybe to add a little bit of weather into your uh, uh, your steam locomotive there, you can get these various paints. You can decorate it up and make it look like a nice tired locomotive that is well used on your railroad. The retail value, are, well, uh, the retail price of this is $39.99. What we're selling here at Yankee Dalbar for $31.99. So if you want to weather your engines, come get this and get your trains look all grimy and well used on your railroad today. Up next on the play by play, this is the credit card swift attack. See, this is a good one because a lot of times you get up to the register, you got your items, but you're fumbling with it, trying to find your credit card. You got to get in there fast, get your purchases, you get to the layout. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so you see Ken here. He has his purchase, but check this out. Ready? Great has, form. has the wallet, has the, has the card out. Hand Bam, the right good to seat. go. No problem. All right, so. Uh, Christian, once again, he got, what do you got, glasses, what was, paper, Look at this wallet, it's so filled. Okay, you know, he, got he has a here. bunch of cards. What, what, what is he doing? He has no card. He's, he's looking, holding he's up, up the line. To make another purchase. He, he has nothing. No, nothing. no good. Hey, DJ, what are you looking at? Well, you know what? I'm looking at the Walther's book that we talked about last show. But check this out. If you go to page 36, bam, there's Yankee Dabbler. Wait, every day is a train store. Yeah, see, wait, where am I? Where, where you I at? thought I was supposed to be there. Oh, you right there. You see, it's right. You right there. You there's see nothing it? there. It's right there. Come on, man. I am the face of this store. Anyway, hey, speaking of new things that we can get in from Walters, we have these Walters seventy-two foot modern refrigerator cars. Check out these cars here. These are really cool looking. Maybe if you're looking for some holiday things to get frozen to your door. This is what they would come in. So I have a couple of different row names here. And these are just really nice, big and beefy cars. I like that. Check out the BNSF one. I love the little icicle frozen thing happening up there. Ooh, so cool. This is such a cool look there. As you're hot, you getting a little cold. Ooh, oh, steam. yeah. See, these are really neat cars here. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different row names. And I have a whole bunch of row numbers as well. These are nice. This looks nice on a long line, too. If you check out, let's take a look at a little detail on one of these things here. You can see all the labels, all the designs here. Let's take a look at that refrigerator unit. Ooh, it's looking good, man. Got the other side here. 
Let's go underneath. This is a great looking car here. Now the neat thing about these cars here is if you've ever seen these on the rails, you know that usually there's a whole bunch of them. So you can come up with a nice long unit train of modern refrigerator cars here. The retail value of these cars is $34.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.73. What? That's a really good deal on these you cars You really here. can build a unit train with them prices. Absolutely. This is a great looking car here. So if I were you, I would get these so you could get your Thanksgiving food on your uh, little layout really quickly. So don't delay. Come get these today. You know, a lot of times you're going into that hobby shop, right? And there's people that are laying down on the floor getting things or maybe little kids or whatever. Well, you want to get to point A to point, point B as fast as possible, right? And why is that? Because you got to get your stuff. So this is called the Main Line Track Strike. Let's see if we hurdle over these obstacles to get our piece. All right, you see that person laying down in that aisle? Don't have time to jump. Right. Jump to. Good form. Get your switch. Grab it. There, there you go. Great job, dude. Yeah. Christian. Christian. Oh. Oh, 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 you just get it. Oh, 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 oh that is a fun it's time to look at some cylindrical hoppers from repeat on. I think you're really going to like these because the detail and designs of these cars are top notch. So right here, I have a really nice Podash Corporation one. And then I have two from the Canadian Pacific Railway. Of course, I have the Script and the Pac-Man logo. I have here the Campotex Limited. And then I have Cementos. Then I finally, I have three Canadian Nationals. I have the different versions of the coloring as well as the black logo happening there. I have the TH and B. And finally, we're going to round it out with the Procore. Now, these have just the amount of detailing that Rapido likes to put on their cars here. Let's take a look at this CP. I really like the design of this one here. But this is a great looking car here. So not only is it designed really nicely, but let's take a look at all the detail that's happening there. All the various co uh, colors. I love the heck. I have die cast metal couplers. Let's go take a look at underneath. These are just great looking cars here. I really like the design of these. And once again, you have a really nice long unit train because Repito made a whole bunch of different road names and road numbers. Now, the retail on these cars here are, are $54.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Devil for $39.99. So you're going to the top of the class where you're getting a nice detailed Repito car like this. But I really enjoy these. They, they glide great, they connect awesome. I don't know what you're waiting for. You need one, two, or every one of these cylindrical hoppers today. Up next is the rolling stock control play. We're going to show you play by play how to stack your stuff. See, if you don't have a basket or a bag, you got to memorize this. Ken here. Now, no, no, he no, has no. to stack it because he, he doesn't have a basket. So what he has to do is he has to figure this out. Look look at that move right there. That is a good form. Oh, my gosh. I haven't it seen this. It doesn't get better than that. I haven't seen it this doesn't... since Roger Quimby in the early 90s. This wow, is awesome. You're making a big purchase. Oh, at that. man. Look at that. And he got that, and he's going to the cash register. Great job there. Great job, young man. All right, let's see, see what... Christian, up. Oh, whoa, whoa, it was too fast, buddy. Yeah, Slow down. And, and, All right. And, oh, two, see, he, see, too, too, three, what? Whoa, too whoa, clumsy. Whoa, 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 what's he that's doing? That's instead of stealing. Oh, what, my God. What's he doing? Oh, my word. I have another hopper card that I'm going to show you, and this is from Nscale Land from Bowser. And check this out here. This is a CNJ Anthracite Blue Coal Hopper. Now, this is a great-looking card here. And the neat thing about this is, this is a very popular road name around this area. This is a really neat looking design here. Now the retail value of this car is $28.95, so we're selling them here at Yankee Dapper for $21.95. Again, it's a great road name, it's a great design here. And for you Enskos, if you're looking for a, a hopper card to add to your consist, I really like this one from Bowser. So add it to your train today. You know, you hold, there's a lot of traffic out there these days. As yeah, sure it is. Next well, play is called the cyber play, all right? The cyber play? How, what's going to happen here? See, you ain't got to come to the store. You can just do order online. Two clicks and you're in the cart and you're out the door. But you know what? We're going to show you what happens when you we'll run late. See, this is, this is a good play. You got to check this out check and out. memorize this one. Check it out. Okay, look at this. He, look, see, he found his item. Very familiar. Very okay. easy. Okay, he added it to the cart. Right. Let's click. go. Let's see. And bam, go to processing. Look at that. Easy. Look at that. Easy. So easy. Okay, look, look. Once it, again, it, in that Jersey traffic, just sitting there. That's rough. Back to back, in the heat, just getting frustrated. This is, this is not good. Not good. No, no, no. Don't want to be frustrated when they change. It came out early. Yeah. Um, so I know for a lot of you Thanksgiving, the main course is the turkey. 
for, for me, it's a cheap P9. So check out these cheap P9s from Walther's here. These are Walther mainline diesel locomotives here, and I have a couple of different variations with high hoods and low hoods here. Now, I really like the design of these engines. Cheap P9, for whatever reason, has always been one of my favorite type of diesel locomotives here. I have a couple of different low hood variations here. I really like this U.S. Army one here. You don't really see too much of that. Conrail is always a good one. And then I have a couple in the box I didn't take out, but I got Milwaukee Road. I got a Canadian a National. I have here a uh, Chicago Northwestern and a little railroad called the Pennsylvania. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. Why do you call them little? I know. Well, they're just standard railroad of the world after all. But these are just great looking diesel locomotives here, and they're very affordable too. Because the retail value of these engines, they sell for $219, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $174.99. So, I mean, it's always great to get the diesel locomotive that's a nice quality for under $200. I really like these engines here. Again, I really enjoyed the GP9s. So I'm going to ask Engineer Hall, which one would you like to run today? You know what? Let's run the Conrail. All right, we're going to run some Conrail Blue. So all aboard. So I have the Conrail Blue on the rails. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's start her up, shall we? It's a great looking start, sounding startup sequence. Let's hear the bell. The horn? Back her up, shall we? You know what, Engineer Hall? I feel like pulling the hopper train. Just run it. Ready? Let's, let's go. All aboard the gravy train for your turkey. Cool, that's a great sound of diesel. It looks great. And again, it's very economically friendly for us because we're selling it again at Yankee Dabbler for $174.99. So if you're looking for a nice looking GP9 to go on your rails or add to your roster, I recommend one of these from Walter's Mainline. I think you're really going to enjoy them. So let's do a recap of all the things that we looked at in today's show because there was a lot of good stuff here. From Rapido here, we had these cylindrical covered hoppers. I really enjoyed those. And now for Walther's, I have a whole bunch of products here, including these modern refrigerator cars. I have these GP9s. And I had a couple of detailing kits, including this backyard detailing set. As well as these modern concrete crossing. But I also have the wood one. But I also have another wood one. Those are cool. Then, of course, I had here this weathering kit and this awesome blue coal 
Bowser covered or um, Bowser and scale hopper car. But if you were looking for something that you didn't see in today's show, that's okay. You could always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and you get caught up on everything that we have in our store. If there's something you look or you, you really like, get it into your cart, shipped out to you, so you, we can have hours and hours of fun this holiday season. I know I really will. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on everything that we talked about. Where else can you get plays on how to maneuver in a model train short? Engineer Hall, is there another website that does this? Actually not. We play are the only by play. One. We know what you guys want and we're here to help you. So make sure you click that subscribe button here. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Who, who like that Conroe one? Who likes that Conroe uh, one? Some guy, Dak, uh, Dak something. Dak mm. Prescott? No, wait. No, no, no. As an Eagle fan, I don't like that guy. Hey. Right. Yeah. So that was our plays on how to maneuver in a model train store this Black Friday holiday season. Engineer Hall, did you learn something? I learned how to move, duck, and dodge, and high step over the competition. Woo, we got to get the, the train so we can get nice and rolling this holiday season. Right. All right. Hey, you know what? I just saw another play that we get out to our playbook. What plays do you possibly have? What this, you got for me, son? This is called Invite Me Over to Your House so I can play with your trains and eat your food on Thanksgiving. That's cool, man. Look, bring something to the house. The wife will enjoy it. All right, I'll bring a caboose. The the wife not in the trains. You gotta bring some food, a food item. Not All righty. You know, I, I got, I got it. I got. How about a refrigerator car? That look nice. I will purchase mine for See? you. But you know, we be tomorrow. Food item. I know. We'll be done. Refrigerator with, car. We done with toys. We we ready. Okay. We ready to eat now. So does, all right. Ready how about eat. how about a Pacific Fruit Express? No, I mean like bring an item over, like you know, something to eat, something to drink, a soda or something. She'll love it. It'd be great. Uh, no, 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 you can't come into my house and not bring something. How about the blue goose? What's the blue goose? 